Hi, my name is Justin. I'm the product manager for the platform team here at Unchained. While multi-sig does allow you to eliminate single points of failure, there may come a time when one of the keys that you are using gets lost, stolen, or otherwise compromised. A key replacement allows you to safely remove that key and replace it with a new, more secure key. I'll be guiding you through what this looks like on the Unchained platform and how you can do it on your own. Let's get started. We'll get started by opening up our Unchained account. I've got mine open up over here, and I'm going to look for the keys menu in the upper left corner. This is where I can see an overview of the keys that are created on my account. I'll mention right away, the key that you intend on using as the replacement key, make sure it's already added to your account before you begin a key replacement. If you don't see it listed here, go ahead and click upload new key and go through that process first. I already have one added, so I'm going to click on the view button for the key that I intend on replacing. I can now see some more details about the key that I'm going to be replacing, as well as when the last key check was performed and any loans or vaults that are secured using that key. Back up at the top, you'll see the replace key button, which I can click to begin the key replacement process. As you enter this process, you'll see a brief summary of what a key replacement is, as well as links to our knowledge base and blog post with more information on the subject matter. We also give you a list of scenarios where you should or should not perform a key replacement. A key replacement in Unchain is really intended for those situations where the seed phrase information has been lost, stolen, or compromised. This can include if the device securing the seed phrase information gets lost or stolen. However, if you have simply forgotten the pin code to unlock your device, but the device has never left your possession, you can reset that device and import the seed phrase back on. Similarly, if the hardware is no longer working but has always remained in your possession, you can purchase a replacement and import that seed phrase back on. We also ask you to acknowledge that any transactions that are going to be happening as a result of this key replacement process are going to incur mining fees on the Bitcoin network, but we don't collect any fees ourselves. I'll click next, and here I'm gonna see information on the compromised key again. We also ask you whether or not you still have access to this key and can sign with it. This allows for Unchained to know whether or not we need to be involved in signing these key replacement transactions in order to move the Bitcoin to a new secure multi-sig form. I'm going to click yes and proceed to the next step. Here's where I get to select which key I intend on using as the new replacement key. I'm going to be using this safe key, so I'll click on that and then hit next. Finally, we see a summary of what is about to happen. This shows me that there are three transactions that are going to be created. It tells me the estimated miner fees for each of them. And then at the bottom, it's showing me a summary of the number of transactions, the fee rate that is going to be used, and the estimated total fees for all of the transactions, both denominated in Bitcoin and in dollar amounts. This is useful information to ensure that you're aware of what is going to be happening after you click Start Key Replacement towards the bottom of the page. We also ask you to acknowledge that if you are using this key on another account at Unchained, this key replacement is only going to happen on the account that you are currently located in. An example being if you have a personal account, but you have used the same key for an IRA account, you'll need to go through this process there as well. Once I've checked that, the start key replacement button becomes active. I'm gonna go through after this, find each of those transactions and sign and broadcast them to the Bitcoin network. Once they've been broadcast and confirmed, the key replacement will be complete and I'll have each of those vaults and loans securing the Bitcoin with that new key. If you have any questions or are feeling uncomfortable about doing this process on your own, you can always reach out to us and we can set you up with a premium support call. You can also find more resources, as mentioned before, on our knowledge base at help.unchained.com or on our blog at blog.unchained.com. Thank you for watching.